just see the like shadow of the other. Right. So we're making our way downtown, walking fast. Faces past in, but we're not homebound. We're Hinkle Fieldhouse bound, okay? Uh, going to see Butler Villanova. And I get it, Butler's not great this year, but Hinkle Fieldhouse is on my bucket list. And you know, coronavirus is gonna be a pretty unique time to see it. We're never gonna see it like this probably ever again. Uh, and we're definitely gonna go back when it's packed, okay? So we're gonna get the full experience. But you know, tickets weren't like crazy expensive, and to play in Villanova and it's Hinkle Fieldhouse Sunday morning. Uh, and it's we can make this trip in a day, which is clutch, okay? So we're doing that, checking a, a place off the bucket list. Uh, you know, it's historic. It's it's Hoosiers. It's uh, a morning game where the uh, the sun is peeking through the windows. Uh, it's going to be pretty sweet, uh, and I'm really excited for it. Take the exit, then turn left onto Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Street. <gasps> Fieldhouse, so. so when we get inside, it's really unique because you can't see the court like right away. You have to either go around to one of four entry points on the main floor or go up to where our seats were on the second floor. And this is the first time uh, you're able to see it. And it, it is so cool. This place is so unique. Uh, it's really interesting how the floor is laid out because it is going the opposite way. It's not going long ways. It's going like, you know, east, west. Um, but still, it, it's really cool, super unique place, uh, and already blown away by it. Dude, this is crazy. This is really cool. Hinkle Fieldhouse feels like a huge high school gym, which is really cool because I wish that more places kept that type of character instead of making them big, you know, cookie cutter arenas. I always encourage everybody to get to games super early so you can watch players warm up, such as potential Big East Player of the Year, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. It's really fun to see, you know, what guys are doing in warm-ups to prepare for the game. And it even looked like Butler was going a little a little light. And so I thought there was no way they had a chance this game. Uh, here we're checking out the Butler, you know, uh, all, all the history in this building. The great teams have played there. Uh, had to check out the gift shop. Didn't buy anything because I went a little too hard in champagne a couple weeks ago. Uh, so, you know what, not trying to hurt the pocketbook anymore. But definitely could have. Uh, and it's really cool because if you walk around on the ground floor, there are four points, like the four points of entry I referenced earlier. You can watch them warming up there. Here is like the trophies and, and everything that they've won. Most notably, the trophies from their two final four runs. Here's Blue, the live bulldog mascot. I still believe that every team should have a live mascot. Live mascots just make things so much better. It's super cool. And then begins the pregame hype. And I was like thinking that Butler had, did not stand a chance. But we got to witness a little bit of Hinkle magic because they end up winning on senior night by double digits. Again, maybe it's not because Butler's particularly nasty, but two of 27 for three from Villanova was really the story of the game. Now, Hinkle Fieldhouse, I, this is the coolest stadium I've ever been to, and if you ever get a chance to go, I definitely recommend it.